All right, uh, I got another question over here on YouTube. When required, uh, Win32 apps fail and quickly retry again. Does it make sense to set a script to detect if the app's installed, and if any fail, to delete the Win32 app in GRS keys to try again? Sure wouldn't hurt to try uh, um, from, from, from my seat. Um, trying to think though. So it's failing very quickly, retrying again. And then is it continuing to retry or is it just after that first retry, it just stops? So I don't know if you'd want, I don't know if it would cause you to get into a loop where it's just retrying over and over and over and over and over and over. Um, it very well might if you use that. Sure would be worth a shot though. And just for anybody wanting to retry, um, in the mention of those GRS keys. Uh, Johan's got a very popular blog post. So I know we've talked about it on here uh, previously. Um, was recently updated over the summer due to the way that uh, the IME log changed. Um, but uh, this blog post will, will point you in the right direction of actually retrying Win32 app installs. Just one moment, please. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, Jamie, follow up here. Uh, put a retry limit on it. After a restart, has better chance to install, and most of the time, it succeeds. Interesting. Yeah, maybe worth putting. Um, I don't know. Some sort of just trying to think outside the box on an app like this. Uh, some sort of check to see if there are any pending restarts or potentially even throwing up a, a toast notification that before this particular app needs to install, I don't know how widespread you have it in your organization, but um, you can put up a toast notification that says, hey, we need to restart. Um, and then maybe uh, get the app install going uh, after that. I don't want to make this too complex, but trying to think of some additional options here. Um, yeah, so for example, there, there are a few examples out there um, online, but uh, Trevor Jones has a, a post on how to display a user notification uh, within a Win32 app if you put a wrapper around it. I uh, believe uh, PSADT, if you want to use that as a wrapper, has um, some checks that you could put in place as well. Um, so if we... We've talked about it uh, several times on here before, and I'm sure you've you've heard of it before. But the PS App Deployment Toolkit, or App Deploy Toolkit, rather, excuse me, um, you can use this as a wrapper, and you can put in some checks and things like that. Uh, might be especially useful if you can identify why it's the restart that gives it a better chance to install. Maybe that's something that you can check on and remediate without a full restart. Um, so just a couple of other options. Uh, see, there's another suggestion in here. Maybe consider delaying your detection script a little bit and see if it's just losing track of the install. Fantastic uh, uh, recommendation. So hopefully a few of those different ways will, will help or can help. Mm -hmm.